plays a mean fiddle. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, hey, we'll have beers all around. <laughs> this is Glenn. Oh, my gosh, I thought he was a waiter. <laughs> well, I thought he was the bus boy. <laughs> what? Well, who pushed your button? <laughs> well, how do we get rid of him? Well, I think he's expecting a gratuity. A, a, well, the I would like to have you meet my family. This is my mama, Mrs. Harper. Hello, hi. And my brother, Vinton. Hey. And his <laughs> wife, Mrs. Harper. Hi. And this is my Aunt Fran. How do you do, I'm sure. <laughs> well, what a, what a nice surprise. I've, I've heard so much about you. That's funny. We haven't heard a peep about you. <laughs> I can't imagine why. Oh, why don't we just all order? Yes. Pass his wine down here. There you go. So, you're Ellen's new boyfriend. Man friend. Well, I'm not that new. You look pretty new to me. <laughs> Why don't we just look at the menu and see what we want to eat? Yes, good idea. The, uh, the beef wellington is one of their specialties. I've had it several times. I didn't see that on here. I'll bet you ordered it off the kitty menu. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ellen, your mother has a unique sense of humor. Yes. The kind that isn't funny. <laughs> well, I think you did great, Ellen. This guy's a real hunk. <laughs> well, good Lord. Why don't we just change the subject? Yes, and while we're on the subject of changing the subject, where did you get that bag? Uh-oh. What bag? That white satin beaded bag that is on your lap. All right, all right, I lent it to her. How many times have I begged you to borrow that bag? At, At least five, five times. times. And what have you always said? It's, it's not, not for Linda. Linda. Ellen gave it's me not. that bag for Christmas. I wouldn't dare let that well, bag out. Well, it's not for Linda, Linda you. you. She only bought me the dang thing so she could borrow it back. I had to carry... I had to carry a black patent leather to a spring wedding just because you wouldn't let hold of that dang bag. Good Lord, Franny, all you care about that stupid person. Here's my daughter making a fool of herself with some kid she picked up at a malt shop. <laughs> That's enough, Mama. Franny, how do you pronounce this? A uh, trout... Munier. If I may say so, Miss Harper, I do think that Ellen is old enough to live her own life. She's old enough to live two of his. <laughs> It's the latest thing. A younger guy and a much, much older woman. Naomi, will you do me a favor and don't defend me? Mrs. Harper, Ellen and I are well aware of her age difference. It doesn't bother us. Well, who cares what you two think? <laughs> I'm worried about my neighbors. Well, we really don't care what people oh, think. butt out, you fuzzy-faced fortune hunter. <laughs> Good idea. I'm not only going to butt out, I'm going to get out. Come on, Ellen. Ellen. Ellen Harper Jackson, you sit down. Is there a, a problem here? Oh, yeah, there sure is. And this one's really got us stumped. You see, this is Ellen. She's my oldest sister. She's even old. She's older than I am. She's running with this real young guy. <laughs> Just a little misunderstanding. It is a big misunderstanding. Uh, perhaps if you'd all just order. Yeah, good idea. I believe I'll have that uh, trout manure. <laughs> Ellen. Ellen, I, I think we should go someplace else and let your lovely family enjoy their dinner in peace. Ellen, I don't believe you're doing this to me. Ellen, are you going with me or not? I don't know. I may be younger than you, but I haven't taken orders from my family in over 15 years. As soon as you get a note from your mother, give me a call. Good night. Well, I hope there aren't any bones in that manure. 